Tom Brady is an American retired professional football quarterback, spokesman, and entrepreneur who has a net worth of $300 million. That is a separate net worth from his former wife, supermodel Giselle Bunchen, who has a $400 million fortune on her own. When they were married, Tom and Giselle had a combined net worth of $650 million. Tom Brady played in a record 10 Super Bowls with the New England Patriots and Tampa Bay Buccaneers, winning seven of them, the most of any player in NFL history. He won a record five Super Bowl MVP awards as well as three NFL MVP awards over a decade. In 2020, Tom jumped from his longtime home with the New England Patriots to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Upon joining the Bucks, he signed a two-year $50 million contract that included $9 million in incentive bonuses. By the end of his NFL career, Tom earned north of $473 million from salary and endorsements. Tom Brady is widely considered the greatest football player of all time. About Tom Brady's early life. Tom Brady was born on August 3, 1977, in San Mateo, California, to a family of sports fanatics. He is the only son and fourth child of Gallon and Thomas Brady. He has three older sisters, Nancy, Julie, and Maureen. He was raised Catholic. Growing up, he attended San Francisco 49ers games with his family. As a child, he idolized Joe Montana. He grew up a fan of the Los Angeles Lakers and Boston Celtics. He went to football camp as a kid at the College of San Mateo, where future NFL quarterback Tony Graziani was his camp counselor and taught him how to throw the football. Brady graduated from San Mateo's Junipero Serra High School in 1995, where he played football, baseball, and basketball. He became the starting quarterback of his high school team during his junior year. During his senior year, he made highlight tapes and sent them to colleges they wanted to go to. Back in the mid-1990s, the college recruiting of athletes was very different. If Brady was graduating from high school today, he would be considered a four-star recruit. These rankings were not widely used back in 1995. Brady narrowed his life of colleges down to Cal, UCLA, USC, Michigan, and Illinois. Brady was also drafted by the Montreal Expos in the 18th round of the 1995 MLB draft. Brady signed to play college football with the University of Michigan. In college, Brady was the backup quarterback behind future NFL QB Brian Greasy for the first two years. Brady struggled to get playing time. He ended up starting every game of the 1998 and 1999 seasons. During his first full year as a starter, he set new Wolverine records for most pass attempts and completions in a season. Michigan won 20 of 25 games Brady started. He had an impressive college career but still was not an early draft pick. Brady was drafted with the 199th pick in the 6th round of the 2000 draft by the New England Patriots. Tom Brady's Football Career Due to his late selection, Brady is considered the biggest steal in the history of the NFL draft. He went on to become the team's starting quarterback in his second season and was with the Patriots for 20 seasons, the NFL record for seasons as quarterback for one team. He is one of only two quarterbacks to win a Super Bowl in their first season as a starter. He is the winningest quarterback in NFL history and never had a losing season as a starting quarterback while with the Patriots. He led the Patriots to more division titles, 16, than any other quarterback in NFL history. With a postseason record of 30-11, he is first all-time in playoff wins and appearances for an NFL player. Brady has led the Patriots to an NFL record eight consecutive AFC championship games since 2011 and 13 overall. Brady has also been selected to 14 Pro Bowls, which ties the NFL record for most selections. Brady was suspended for the first four games of the 2016 season for his alleged involvement in the Deflate Gate football tampering scandal. Brady and the Patriots won two of the next three Super Bowls. In March 2020, Tom Brady announced that he was moving from the New England Patriots to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. While in Tampa, he rents Derek Jeter's palatial custom-built waterfront mansion at a cost of reportedly $70,000 per month. With the Bucs, he won his seventh Super Bowl when Tampa Bay defeated the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. After a short-lived retirement announcement in February 2022, Brady retired from the game for good in February 2023, holding a slew of NFL quarterback records. Tom's Tampa Bay contract is worth a minimum of $50 million over two years. 
He will essentially earn a base salary of $15 million plus a $10 million roster bonus each year. If he hits various milestones, the contract could pay as much as $60 million. Tom actually turned down a higher contract from the Patriots because it wasn't fully guaranteed. On May 10th, 2022, it was reported that Tom Brady had signed a 10-year, $375 million deal to join the Fox Sports broadcasting booth for NFL games upon his retirement. At $37.5 million per year, this deal would not only be the largest contract in sports casting history, it would enable Brady to earn a little more than twice as much as quarterbacks turned commentators Tony Romo and Troy Aikman. But the latest reports suggest that Brady is leaning toward walking away from this deal. Tom Brady and the FTX Crypto Collapse In June of 2021, Tom and Giselle were revealed as the newest brand ambassadors of the crypto exchange FTX. The couple would go on to appear in several ads for the company, including one in which Tom starred alongside company founder Sam Bankman-Fried. As you now know, in November 2022, FTX collapsed into bankruptcy over a matter of days, and within a few weeks, Sam Bankman-Fried was arrested and extradited to the United States to face charges of money laundering and wire fraud. In the wake of the collapse and ensuing bankruptcy case, a handful of details regarding Tom and Giselle's FTX compensation were released. On January 10, 2023, the bankruptcy court released a document that listed all of FTX's largest individual equity holders. That document revealed that for his services, Tom Brady received 1,144,861 common shares of FTX. Giselle received 686,761 shares. Television personality Kevin O'Leary was shown to have received 32,000 shares. In an interview with CNBC and Senate Testimony, Kevin claimed his FTX stake was worth $1 million at its peak. Using these numbers, we can calculate that at some point, the private market price for a single share of FTX was $31.25. That would mean combined, Tom and Giselle's 1.8 million shares were at one point worth around $57 million. They likely also received tens of millions in additional compensation. For example, Kevin O'Leary received approximately $14 million in other compensation. Tom and Giselle, and every other celebrity endorser, will very likely receive nothing in return for their equity stakes. Personal Life Brady dated actress Bridget Moynihan from 2004 until late 2006. On February 18, 2007, Moynihan confirmed to People magazine that she was more than three months pregnant with Brady's child. Brady and Moynihan ended their relationship sometime in early December 2006, around the time Moynihan became pregnant. John Edward Thomas Moynihan was born in August 2007. Brady began dating Brazilian model Giselle Bündchen in December 2006. They were introduced by a mutual friend on a blind date. Brady and Bündchen were married on February 26, 2009, in a small ceremony at St. Monica Catholic Church in Santa Monica, California. In April 2009, the couple had a second ceremony in Costa Rica. Their son was born in 2009, and their daughter was born in 2012. Unfortunately, Tom and Giselle divorced in October 2022. In March 2023, Tom Brady purchased a minority stake in WNBA's Las Vegas Aces from majority owner Mark Davis. About Tom Brady's real estate. In May 2013, Tom and Giselle paid $4.5 million for a lot in a gated community in Brookline, Massachusetts. They proceeded to custom-build a 10,000-square-foot mansion. In August 2019, they listed this home for $39.5 million. Later, they dropped the price to $33.9 million. The house sold in an off-market deal with no pricing information disclosed. In 2006, Tom paid $6.24 million for a building in Boston. He then spent $11.5 million converting the building from nine condos into four condos. In 2011, he sold the penthouse for $9.3 million. He sold three of the remaining units for a combined $8 million. In 2009, Tom and Giselle bought an undeveloped plot of land in LA's Brentwood neighborhood for $9 million. Over the next three years, they spent an additional $20 million constructing a 14,000-square-foot home which they ended up living in for less than a year. The mansion, which was built from scratch out of acid-washed limestone, sits on a parcel of land overlooking the Pacific Ocean. 
The home features hardwood floors, floor-to-ceiling windows, open-beamed ceilings, multiple fireplaces, a state-of-the-art kitchen, a large gym, airy, marble-tiled bathrooms, and multiple large closets. Outside of the house, there is a moat filled with koi, a large pool, a motor court constructed out of reclaimed stones that can only be reached by driving over a small bridge, and beautifully landscaped grounds. The entire home is eco-friendly and uses solar power and gray water technology. It was also constructed out of eco-friendly reclaimed materials. In May 2014, Dr. Dre bought the property from them for $50 million. Not a bad way to make $21 million. In 2018, Tom and Giselle paid $25.5 million for a 12th floor unit in a New York City building. They sold this unit in December 2020 for $40 million. They still own a smaller unit in the same building, which has 4,300 square feet of living space overlooking the Hudson River. In late 2020, Tom and Giselle paid $17 million for a two-acre estate on Miami's ultra-exclusive Indian Creek Island, which is also known as Billionaire Bunker. The 300-acre island has just 34 total lots and is accessible only by a single guarded bridge. A private police force patrols the island 24-7. Tom and Giselle tore down the existing 5,700-square-foot mansion so they could build a new, much larger mansion in its place. Close neighbors include Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump and billionaire investor Carl Icahn. Before buying their Indian Creek property, Tom and Giselle rented Derek Jeter's Tampa mansion for a reported $75,000 per month. After retiring from football, Tom Brady listed his 6,500-square-foot Tampa home for rent at $60,000 per month. Tom and Giselle own a property at the Yellowstone Club in Big Sky, Montana. It's unclear what type of property they own. Condos in the property go for $6 million. Homes go for $30 million plus. About Tom Brady's car collection. Tom Brady doesn't just collect football trophies. He also boasts an insane car collection that's valued at over $5 million. Brady's cream of the crop is his Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, the most expensive vehicle in his garage, valued of $3 million. The car hits 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds and tops out at 268 miles per hour. The power comes from its 8.0-liter W16 engine delivering 1,200 horsepower. Bugatti only produced 450 Veyrons in 10 years. The NFL star is among a select group of celebrity owners including Tom Cruise, Jay-Z, and Simon Cowell. A millionaire's car collection isn't complete without a Rolls-Royce. And that's exactly what Brady was spotted driving in 2019 despite having signed a lucrative deal with Aston Martin. The 2015 Rolls-Royce Ghost boasts an impressive 6.6-liter V12 engine, capable of producing 563 horsepower. The luxury model features aluminum interior accents, aluminum slash wood dash trims, a power liftgate, 16 speakers, and leather seats. The 2015 Ghost runs at about $400,000. Brady hasn't paid for all his cars. After pinning a deal with British high-end car manufacturer in 2017, the quarterback was gifted an Aston Martin DB11. Famed for its association with James Bond, the automaker wanted to promote its cars by partnering with the biggest NFL player in the world and signed Brady up to a multi-year deal. The DB11 is powered by a V12 engine and sits behind 600 horsepower. The car is equipped with a rear-mounted 8-speed automatic transmission manufactured by Zia Friedrichshafen. Named after Brady himself, the 2018 limited edition TB12 Aston Martin Vanquish S Volante was designed by the NFL superstar. Only 12 of these cars were ever produced, making them extremely rare. The Vanquish S comes with a 5.9-liter V12 engine and produces 595 horsepower while featuring a top speed of 201 miles per hour. The supercar goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and is valued at $359,950. Brady paid $165,000 for the Audi R8 2009 model, which boasts a 5.2-liter V10 engine and produces 428 horsepower. The seven-time Super Bowl champions collection also includes a 2011 Range Rover. The luxury mid-sized SUV features a supercharged V8 engine. Brady keeps the SUV as a family car, using it to run his three kids around. 
With 28 Highway MPG, this is one of the most fuel-efficient vehicles in the Brady Collection. The 45-year-old spent over $100,000 on the Land Rover. That's all we had for Tom Brady. Please support us by subscribing to the channel, give a like, leave a comment, and stay tuned on Celeb Central for more videos.